Not sure. enemy's top barracks has fallen. Very well. But yeah, I'm getting like double strikes now because of the Echo Saber. Okay, I got six kills, two deaths, and fourteen assists. The enemy's middle tower has fallen. Damn. Can't really kill him once they go up there. Yeah, I did grab that. So, for a moment, I thought I was talking about my Blarney. Uh, <laughs> Fresh me. That. Radiant structures are fortified. Just need to beat this down now, and we win. Just so I was to blink around. That's cool. By the outcast blade. Burly tree guy. That went really well. Okay, experience trophy. Level 2, tier 1, 10 trophy points. Not sure what this is meant to mean. Okay, the amount of points they have here is the amount of kills they've gotten. Uh, so we killed them 43 times. Like, God damn. <laughs> Give them a com commendation. I killed Pudge four times there. Oh, they tell you when you... Oh, okay. 
Um, I didn't realize they actually told the person that who commandated them. I thought it was a just someone commandated you kind of thing. You know, it was hush hush. Uh, I think FF14 does it like that. When you d run a dungeon, you, you can accommodate people, but it doesn't. Or command, sorry, accommodate. Uh, it doesn't tell you, it doesn't give you details. So th there's a training here on last hitting, be it last hitting your opponent's creatures or your own. By last hitting your own, you deny the opponent the full tank. Um, and it denies the money as well, I think. They get a bit of experience, but that's it. And you get a bit of experience for it. Not much, but you get a little bit. Um, do I swear? Like, I've seen things that say that you don't get money for denying critters. But then I swore I, I got money for denying them. Maybe someone else just died at the same time and they threw it off? I've no idea. Also, item lists. Christ. This this is looks awesome. Like seriously. I'd love to get it, but it's very steep. Satanic looks awesome as well. Just uh you pop that, you get two hundred percent lifesteal. Well actually no, it increases lifesteal percentage to two hundred percent. So I wonder then how does the rest of it stack? Because it could be read as it increases it to 200%. So, say if you already have 100, it only boosts it by 100. Or, it could be that it's, you know, it brings you to 200, and then everything else is added on top of that. I'm actually very tempted grabbing that. But yeah, um, Daedalus, uh, it, um, suddenly it feels like I'm playing Human Revolution all over again. But uh, Daedalus here does 80 to damage, and it has a passive of critical strike. Each grants each attack a 10% chance to deal 235% damage. Beautiful. But yeah, there's all sh these are all the shops in the game. There's These are the secret shops, and these are the side shops. Uh, in a normal match, if you want to buy something from, say, a secret shop, you have to go to it or send your courier to it. Then you can buy, I think. I think there was some like weird stipulation like that. Uh, part of me is wondering, did I just make a mistake? Uh, recycle sets receive bonus reward containing treasure and shards. Uh, Dota Plus subscribers can recycle unopened bundles from this treasure to earn progress towards a reward containing additional bonus treasure and shards. On Druid Clan of the Arctic Owlbear. Hmm. The alternates. And here's Sven's thing, which does look pretty cool. There is a, you know one of the gotcha games, the, that genre? There's one of them, and they have recently broke from making gotcha. Uh, they t apparently took the money they made from it, and went and made a... I don't know the best word, my mind keeps wanting to say legitimate. But made a typical game. It's going to be some big RPG. It was set in the same setting as the Gotcha. Um, so it's kind of cool. I know the reason I bring that up is the all the MOBAs have, well, at least Wall and Dota here have you know like 
detailed background. You know, here, here's a world, here's a setting, and you never see anything Your of it. To ban. Five seconds remaining. Um, that's off when this is safe when. Um, but yeah, they have these huge, big, you know, backgrounds and stories, but and worlds, but you never see Ant of them. So basically, I was just thinking, basically, Ten seconds wonder would any MOBA ever move, make that kind of move, you know? Five seconds remaining. What can he do? Okay, smoke screen. Silencing enemies cause them this most attacks. Blink strike. Cloak and dagger. Phase into his shadows and become invisible. He can do bonus damage when he strikes and when he attacks become visible. Tricks of the trade. Phase out of the wall will strike around random enemy heroes and back in an area mm -hmm. around. Cool. Good enough. Prepare for battle. Yeah. Also, Doom. Damn Bethesda and their uh, product placement. Thirty seconds to battle. So you say. Ah, he's gonna go Nick Dares. Cheeky. Well, Jelf has arrived. The battle begins. I have waited long enough. I'll do it. It's only proper. Yeah, I'm not really, I've seen like three, four different properties now with Welch elves, and it just, I know, I've never, the elves never struck me as Welch. Yeah, dwar Scottish dwarves, but I never saw no, Welch no. elves. Yes. Not complaining. Okay. That a little. Bad. Uh, this isn't going to be going as well as last time. Good idea. At last. That worked out. Yes. Next level, I'll be getting Cleef. Can't wait. Move. Okay, boots get. Already have boots, but other better boots. One issue I always have at this level. Right. Terrible mana. Very well. Stick this down here. 
Moving up. Is, I think the accent on the elf is Welch. Struck me as such, but I'm not sure if I've ever really heard Welch accent pre previously. Denied. I'm just gonna assume I'm right. Yeah, I, I need to get to the shrine. Hey, uh, my, uh, me playing Dota, uh, we just kind of... Thank you. Dota's kind of coming back to me, but not in a good way. Uh, no, we, sorry. I keep wanting to hit Q for a speed increase. Like I said, Garen had that. Good idea. Oh, wait, it only gets interrupted by heroes. Nice. I grow by degree, yes. I'll do it. On the way. Yeah. Good enough. Of course. So you say. This blocks uh, magical damage. Your middle tower is under attack. 
Can they ping the map? Why not? Uh, it's still off. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah, the Ogre Mage is centered around multicast. Yeah, yeah, like, he'll do an ability and he's a chance of getting multicasts. Okay. Ah, okay, that is his ability. Alright. I can do no less. No Grimaja yeah. illusion. The battle. One back. Okay, you know what? I'm heading back. Oh, that goes on cooldown. That's obnoxious. My code compels me. Right. Okay. So what now? Uh, this, I guess. Your top tower has fallen. Under attack. Oh, hold off till I get this. Radiant structures are fortified. Damn. Your bottom tower is under attack. Your bottom tower is under attack. Kill my blade. Come on. Your middle tower is under attack. Very well. Then let's get back to those already getting back. Why not? Sorry, I don't think I've been talking too much. Right. Don't know how you ping the map. Still, still don't. It's actually yes. rather annoying, man. Under attack. Yes, 
I'm gonna kill a few of these for a moment. Just to make a little bit of extra cash. There's that. And. That is you over here. Gee, thank you. Rather rude, actually. Because that means they got everything. I might have got a little bit of experience, but I'm trying to get this weapon. And I would have if you hadn't yunked it. Anyway. Only proper. Not yet. The battle. Ah. Damn, got too greedy. Got too greedy. Wait. Gifts for the Magi. Ah, he managed to escape. Good, good. Tranquil boots. Nice. Anyway, what's next? Uh, I could go for Blink Dagger. Yeah, Blink Dagger is pretty good. I think pretty good. Might be underselling it, but still. It's good. And yeah, this match is not going nearly as good as the previous one. About time. Good idea. Ooh, nice. Hand of Midas's kill creeps. Ooh, I... That might be what they used on the other guys. You know? Yes. Uh, you know the ones I was carrying. Keep running, keep running. Run away, run away, run away. Wait, I haven't popped stuff? Still. Christ, they got a lot for killing them. I'm jealous. They got, they got it myself, and but they carked me. Plus 300 track gold. What the hell? What does that mean? Track. Uh, if the target dies, bounty hunter and nearby heroes collect a bonus uh, bounty of gold. Nice. I could buy my way back in, but I'm really close to getting my Blink Dagger, which would be quite beneficial. So I don't want to piss away vast majority of the cash. Dying hurts. Yet. 
Okay, go here. I'm not really sure where I should go. So let's just no, go no, kill no. these. But yeah, the hand of Midas insta kills a critter uh, and gives you extra money and experience for it. Costs a fair bit to use that. This is the critter. No, the, the item. Oh, holding down tab. Uh, the button above tab brings up tab. That's right. Yay, I got a kill. Well, I got a lot of cash. What lost? Which was a move Ogre Magis in Warcraft 3 had. Ooh, move away. Seven wards weren't great in Warcraft 3, but they are potent here. I'm not really sure what to grab now. Ooh, it's even bigger. I know, just the media is hard. It's something on. It, never mind. I'm not sure even how well you can hear shit. Uh, it seems like you can hear things just fine, but uh, never can be sure. Christ. Stacking uh, attack speed increases. Potent. Yes. I'm just pulling back because. Well, I got five kills, two deaths, seven. Assists. That's right. Your bottom tower is under attack. Good enough. Bountiful. Okay, I'm gonna go kill these. Should uh... Ooh, wait, I have a ton of cash. Um uh... I'm gonna switch uh this out. Aye. Your middle tower is under attack. Dire yes. structures are fortified. I'll do it. Your I middle tower is under attack. Your middle tower So has I won't have to do and against two of them. Two and nine rangers. Nine. Ah damn sounds There's nothing I could do. I could have tried to boot out of there, but no, it wouldn't have done me much. Your middle tower is under attack. Damn wind ranger. 
Wind Ranger doesn't quite have the same twang as Wind Runner. And I'm out of it for next minute. Okay, I'm just gonna hold tab and have a look at Discord. that a chance of damage reduction, but that's fine because now I've got even more life saving. I would need uh, different boots to teleport to anywhere. So I could just get up to here. Run. Double damage, nice. I can do no less. Okay, I'll back up here. Um, and now so I could grab. That turns into nothing. Butterfly. Okay. Move back to here. If I go back to there, I think I can disassemble this. Oh, I can disassemble this here. So I'm gonna move, keep going back. Your middle tower is under attack. Okay. So, this is already have Satanic. Buy this. Now I just need a bit more cash. Maybe I saw that a bit early, but whatever. Um, and I can get Butterfly. It's only problem. She was just running away, but no, she'd actually turned invisible. Getting that. Oh, 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 oh. Run, 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 run. Oh, 
ended up dodging that. Run away, run away, run away, run away. Damn, hit V when I didn't mean to. Oh, just, just about to get it. Capturing the majestic Calvin Eagle, this mystical horn brings limitless dexterity to those who hear it. Bye. And now I have Butterfly. The Butterfly allows you to dodge attacks and utilize its flutter ability to maneuver better. This, uh, combined with your heightened strength and armor, makes Sven very difficult to completely disable. So yeah, that's according to the this guy I'm going by. Uh, only the mightiest and most experienced warriors can wield the butterfly. Provides incredible dexterity in combat. The enemy's bottom tower has fallen. I know, it feels a little weird getting dexterity because it's not my primary thing, but if it's what they recommend. Plus it gives evasion and all that. Sounds like a very good idea. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Nice. Mm. Back into town. Max. Come on. Okay. Don't know what that cost means, still. Maybe more times you buy back, it goes up. This on the list. So you say.
Ow. Disconnected. Oh, he's been uh, auto navigated back to base. Cool. Dire structures are fortified. Actually, everyone on Dire is uh, dead. Okay. Maybe, uh, tower is under attack. maybe I should see if I actually. But he's disconnected. How is he doing that? Your middle has has fallen. I think we've lost here. Sucks. We were very close to winning. We just uh, took the foot off the pedal too much. Sucks. Uh, okay. Don't really care. I'm not, I'm not even sure if those are legitimate. As in, like. I'm not used to games that have uh, outside gambling. So I have no idea if... You know, I presume it's a scam, but... This is a whole different kettle of fish, so maybe it's legitimate, I have no idea. This guy is interesting, you can just... You can just target him, uh, like you can be, uh, see an enemy anywhere on the map, and you can just have him like charge at him. It, it, it doesn't matter like heights or anything. So you know, if you're down in the river, someone else is up on the cliff just to the uh, over here. He'll just run right at him. Doesn't matter. So you can be like right across the map at someone. Ugh. So yeah, I'm gonna end this here. I sincerely hope you've enjoyed this. I'll probably be back at some stage to record more. Though, who knows when this will be coming out. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Dota. Dota 2. It was kind of fun, actually. So. So, yeah. I sincerely hope you've enjoyed this, and hope you join me again soon. If there's anything you'd like to tell me, please let me know in the comment section below. But until then, love and peace, baby. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but uh, I don't think so. Oh, what's this guy? Oh, this is Lich. Frost. In life, the Frost Mage Etrain, not yet a Lich, uh, had used the threat of destructive ice to enslave entire kingdoms. His subjects, aided by a few desperate magicians, eventually grew bold enough to ambush him, armed with enough charmed rope to bind them forever. They tied the Frost Mage to Advent Waits and dropped him in in a pool known chiefly for being bottomless. Bottomless? It wasn't. He only fell for a year or so before an elk crop snagged him. There he rested, dead but decaying, until the geomancer Anhill taught to verify the legend of the supposedly bottomless black pool. Anhill's plumb line snared, uh, uh, snarled with the ropes that bound the drowned magician, and up he hauled an unexpected prize. Thinking that by rendering the dead undead, he could question the witch about the properties of the pool, he removed the bindings and commenced a simple rite of resurrection. Simple. Uh, even the descendants of Etherin's enemies were long forgotten by time, so there were none to warn Anhill against imprudence. But he learned the error of his judgment almost immediately, as the witch threw off the shackles and consumed him.
Drifting from battle to battle, sacrificing creeps to assault to fuel his assaults, which is always ready to help his fellow heroes destroy their enemies with slowing frost. Should his foes be foolish enough to gather, that his bouncing ultimate will ensure their demise. Cool. And that makes me think of Zod, cause Frost Witch. So, um, again, before anyone jumps jumps at me. I'm just saying that, oh cool, here's this, what this is clearly originally meant to be. Here's what that clearly was originally meant to be. You know, originally was, you know. But they obviously had to change it for a variety of reasons. So, you know, it's, it's, just, it's cute to see it out. That's all. So, I'm actually going to end it now. Talk to you again soon.